for the second presidential debate ahead of the elections is currently underway. President Yoweri Museveni, who is seeking to extend his 30-year reign, is facing off against seven new position candidates. The debate will go on record as being the first involving all the presidential candidates as Museveni skipped the inaugural debate last month. Museveni is seeking to outwit the seven challengers, keying among them Dr. Kiza Besije, Museveni's former comrade in arms who has stood against him the last three presidential elections, and Amama Mbabazi, another veteran of the governing national resistance movement who served as prime minister until his fallout with Museveni last year. The debate's main focus is on peace and security, foreign relations, East African integration, the Great Lakes region and terrorism. Uganda has 15 million registered voters out of an estimated population of 37 million. Our CCTV's Jen Kerr is keeping tabs on this story for us. She joins us now with the latest from Kampala. Jen, how big a deal is this debate during the electioneering period and what are the key highlights so far? Well, Penina, one of the reasons perhaps that really makes this, big, uh, this debate such a big deal is the fact that, like you said, uh, the incumbent, uh, Yoweri Museveni, is finally participating. Again, this will be his first uh, presidential debate of his political career. Remember, he's been in office over the last... 30 years. Last month, he did skip that debate, saying that such an activity was for school-going children. Not so tonight. He arrived at the venue, which is the conference center here in Kampala, a few minutes to 7 o'clock. That debate, I can tell you, has not really begun. It was scheduled to begin at 6 o'clock, but by the time we went on air, uh, it had not really begun. Now, the eight candidates, of course, will be talking about various issues, like you highlighted, the issue of terrorism, uh, the foreign relations, peace and security, and interestingly, the integration of the East African community. Surprisingly, Panina, it was only this week, a few days ago, that President Yoweri Museveni said that he'd only leave office once he's assured that the East African community is united, that he's here to fight for the black people to ensure their unity. So let's see how it's going to pan out tonight, Panina. So the debate, Jane, comes at the tail end of the campaign period with only a few more days to election day. How has the campaign period unfolded so far? Well, you'd say that uh, the campaigns have pretty much been vibrant, as was expected. Remember, we are talking about eight candidates trying to win the hearts and the minds of 15 million registered voters. Now, these eight candidates, two of the eight candidates, that's President Yoweri Museveni and Kiza Besije, have been, have been at it over the last three elections. That's 15 years. Besije losing out on all the three elections. He's clearly not about to give up. Now, the campaigns have also been dirty and ugly. We've seen incidents of the police clamping down on the opposition, barring them from holding rallies and, and uh, until recently when they were allowed to do so. But Penina, interestingly, it's not just been about the political titans battling it out. It's also been a battle of creativity, you'd say. The, candidate, the candidates going all out to try and pull the crowds to convince the voters to vote for them. Well, Penina, of course, the, campaign, uh, the candidates took a break from the campaign trail today to concentrate and prepare for that debate, which I can't confirm has not begun yet. Most of them will, of course, be winding up their campaigns on Monday and Tuesday with a big day set for Thursday. Penina? All right, Jane. Thanks very much for that. Jane Keo, live there for us in Kampala.